right, so we out here putting the box back together. Tail lights. Well, it's like we did that live video. All the lights back there. It's getting what we needed up front here. Let me turn it on and show you what we got. <laughs> LEDs in there. Motherfucker giving a light show. Yeah, cat. Put that on. Tail lights. Mark lights. Oh, shebang, baby. One step at a time. Ain't no rush. Y'all know we've been fucking fooling with this damn, uh, that damn cutlass, man. Uh, Soda. What was I gonna say? So it feel, it feel like the brake booster works better when it's unhooked. Cause when it's hooked up, it just go all the way to the flow, which is all right. So I bought another one. I'm gonna sort that bitch out. <clears throat> I was trying to fuck with these brakes on the C10, but I'm still missing some shit. And then it hit me as I was fucking with this shit. I was like, I think I remember this is why I said I was just going to do uh, what you call in the rear. I think this is the reason why I said that I was just gonna do calipers in the rear on her. Not cause I need it, but just because I ain't trying to fuck with this shit. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let that shit lead where it lay. Uh, I'm trying to find, oh yeah, so I did buy uh, speed bleeders. These are not the speed bleeders. Speed bleeders are already on the car. But the uh, speed bleeder part number for the front, 12702. I'm trying to see if they got some for the rear. I'm going to put them in there too. That way I can one man that thing. Uh, shout out to my boy Proud for coming over and helping me. But we ran into the issue with the master cylinder. And now I think it's the booster as well. And I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So, once I get them bleeders, then we'll figure it out from there. But I wanted to put the plate and shit on here so I could put this bitch back on the street. Well, I could put it on the street if need be, and then I could pull the cutlass back up in the driveway. I'll probably do that tomorrow. It ain't got dark. I don't want to disturb the neighbors. Yeah, I put the new master something on there and it seemed to be better. And then I was like, oh shit, the master cell ain't even hooked up. So then when I hook the master cylinder up, it go all the way to the flow. As far as vacuum. So that's the part that's kind of confusing a bit. <laughs> I tell you what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab me a Modelo. Oh. Right there. 
Grab me a Modelo, think it over, and go from there. All right, what's up, y'all? We back. Another day. I don't know what day. I don't even. We just back in the garage. You don't even, it don't even matter what day it is. How many days between, none of that. So, uh, I said screw them, screw them brakes or whatever. <clears throat> I ain't worried about the rears. The front stop fine by itself. So we gonna go with that. Let me show you what I picked up today at work. Now I'm gonna give, I know I showed y'all in the last video, the booster, right? But I got one, one or two last ditch efforts before I just change the booster. <clears throat> so what I wanna do and what, to do that, I'm gonna have to pull, I'm gonna have to pull the wheels back out. So let me go, I think I've got it inside of my shirt. Hold on. All right, so like I said, what I wanna do is make a last ditch effort before I change that booster. Cause it's gonna be a little bit more intensive, so to speak. But I, got the, but I got the booster. I took it to work today to make sure. Remember the other video? <clears throat> I tell y'all it was missing. It was missing some of the nuts that went on the on the booster and the wall. So I bought the right ones. So we good to go on that, if need be. And like I said, I'm I'm pretty close to just saying screw it, I'm gonna swap it out. <clears throat> Since we got it, but I mean that's like a hundred and something dollars that if I ain't gotta spin it, I ain't, I ain't gonna spin it. So uh other video uh I showed y'all that I got the bleeders for the front. I was trying to see if I still had the bag or the package so I can show you the part number again. <coughs> uh, I guess I ain't got it no more. But anyway, I picked up. Go, you got to go back and watch the other video because I can't find the paper. Uh, so this is for the rear. So these is uh, M8 by 125. Overall length is 28 millimeters. I don't know if these are longer than the other ones, but they are speed bleeders with the built-in check valve and crack it, push, 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 get all the air out. And I think that's kind of what we running into. <clears throat> um, this is not getting all the air out of the line. I really, 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 really don't think that that booster is bad. However, I am prepared to replace it if need be. All right, so, um, like I was saying, so this is the remanufactured master cylinder. I do got a new one. Um, the reman is on there, like I said, so, the reman is on there. It kind of felt different. I'm hoping that these bleeders, when I put them on the rear, they're gonna make it do what it do, and we're gonna be good to go. However, common, if we are not able, if I think that the booster is still an issue or whatever, then when I pull, cause I'm gonna have to pull the master cylinder back off. I'm gonna have to pull the master cylinder back off. So if I gotta do that, then I'm just gonna put the new one on there versus the remain facts to take that back and get my money back. So, I guess we'll find out here in the very near, near, near future. So, uh, I'm gonna take this. We're gonna get the truck down. 
The truck down off of these jack stands. So it can come out. Well, I did say that I was just gonna do it in the driveway, huh? But no, cause them wheels gotta come off. The wheels gotta come off, so. That ain't gonna work. <clears throat> cause them wheels gotta come off, so. Just gotta come down, pull it out, put the cutlass back in here, and go for what you know. All right, so. <clears throat> They finna get ready to go get something to eat. So when they do that, then we gonna move, move the, move the cutlass. Well, yeah, when she, when she go to get something to eat, then we gonna back this thing out. And then we gonna pull the cutlass in. The end. Hopefully this goes without a hiccup. <laughs> like last time, we got the we got the box out, but then the colors didn't want to go in. So we're not gonna do that back in the end fancy shit this morning. This time we just gonna fucking red that bitch up and roll that motherfucker right off in here. You did. <laughs> So it was like a tornado <clears throat> watch or something. It was around this area. It had moved up north. Now further north. So it's crazy Texas weather though. You never know what you're gonna get. Alright, let's move some cars. So that went off with it without a hitch. C10 looking good. All right, so we grab the Batmobile keys. Yeah, y'all pray for pray for smooth operation. Oh, I already got them. Pray for a smooth operation. <clears throat> oh, when I was messing with the master cylinder yesterday. Even though the brake booster was on the hooks, I could seem to run better. The brakes definitely work better with it unhooked, which was odd because it's manual, but I ain't moved much either, so. Being that those are the safest filling brakes, that's what we're gonna use to put it in the garage.
on some bullshit. All right, so wasn't the best, but wasn't the worst either. We got it in there. <sighs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> so we, we got it back in the garage. We didn't crash it into the house. Win-win, nigga. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I'll fucking take it.